The Spooky Sleepover, Monsters, Inc. It was a quiet morning at Monsters, Inc. James P. Sullivan was looking over the monthly laugh reports. Sully was the president of Monsters. Suddenly the phone rang. Hello, said Sully. It's dispatch, said the voice on the other end of the line. Annual slumber party at Little Shaden Brown's house. Waxford is out sick. We need a replacement. Sully thought about who to send. He wanted to put his best monster on the case. He smiled to himself. Who better for the job than his friend Mike Wazowski? Mike could make anyone laugh, and he was the top laugh collector at Monsters, Inc. Sully knew his best friend would be a perfect choice. Mike was in the locker room getting ready for work when Sully walked in and explained the situation. I'm your man, Mike said confidently. Great, Sully exclaimed, whistling. He went back to his office to finish his laugh reports. A room full of kids? Collecting laughs will be a piece of cake, Mike said as a door slid into his station on the laugh floor. Mike opened the door and walked through the closet in Shannon Brown's room. It was empty. Hello, Mike called. He looked around and peeked under the bed, but there was no one there. Just as Mike started walking around towards the closet, he heard laughter. All right, now we're talking, Mike said. Kids, prepare to roll with laughter. Just then, a flash of lightning hit up, lit up the dark room and thunder cracked across the sky. Mike jumped. If there was one thing that scared him, it was thunderstorms. Job or no job, he was getting out of there. Mike raced back to the closet, but when he opened the door, he was standing in a normal closet, not the laugh floor. Mike realized that the lightning must have broken the door. He knew that he needed to find the slumber party and another closet door fast. Heading into the dark hallway, Mike tried to follow the sound of laughter. The floor creaked spookily beneath him. Mike stopped and looked around. The wall was covered in creepy paintings of people, and they all seemed to be staring right at him. I've got to get out of here, Mike muttered to himself. Then he saw something scary that made him freeze in his tracks. Sitting at the end of the hall was a large furry creature with fangs. Thinking the creature was a fellow monster, Mike started to walk closer, relieved. Suddenly, the creature jumped on him, knocking him down. It wasn't a monster. It was a dog. Ah! Mike screamed. He hated dogs. Mike pushed the dog off him and ran into a nearby room, then slammed the door shut. He was safe for now. Meanwhile, Sully was working on the laugh floor. Sully, Sully, the floor, manager shouted, running over. Mike still hasn't returned from the slumber party. When Sully checked the door, he found it wasn't working. Mike was trapped. Sully didn't like the idea of Mike being stuck in Shannon's house. He needed to fix the door now. He quickly brought in a maintenance crew together. The monsters tried to open it up properly, but nothing worked. Sully and the monsters decided to try getting into Shannon's house using a new door. Finally, it made a clicking sound. It worked. Now the door would open into a different room in the house. Back in the house, Mike opened another door. It led to the bathroom. As Mike searched for the light switch, he tripped on a yellow rubber ducky. Ouch, he said as he went rolling across the floor like a ball. Finally, Mike crashed into the wall and came to a stop. Suddenly, he heard giggling from down the hall. Mike did not like this assignment or this house, but as long as he was stuck there, he was determined to find the party. Lifting himself off the floor, he followed the laughter to a door, but when he opened it, the room was quiet. Slowly, Mike entered the dark, silent room. All of a sudden, a light went on. Mike jumped. Shannon Brown and all her friends roared with laughter. They thought Mike looked funny sneaking into the room. Ah! Oh, 
Mike was so scared that he couldn't stop yelling. At that moment, the closet door opened and Sully burst into the room. When he heard Mike screaming, he started screaming too. Mike jumped up into Sully's arms. The girls at the slumber party laughed even harder. A big blue monster with purple spots hugging a one-eyed little green monster was one of the funniest things they had ever seen. Mike and Sully smiled at each other. Then Mike jumped to the floor and they both took a bow. The kids cheered. Looks like our work here is done, Sully said with a smile. He and Mike headed through the closet door and back to the laugh floor. They had filled so many canisters with laughs that Mike was named the top laugh collector of that day. I was never scared for a second, Mike said, hoping Sully would believe him. Me neither, buddy, Sully replied, his big furry fingers crossed behind his back. Me neither.